Finding and Writing Thesis Statements. Welcome. Today we'll talk about how to find and write thesis statements. We'll answer the questions, how do you find main ideas or thesis statements and texts you read? And how do you write thesis statements for your own essays? Today's video will cover how to find main ideas or thesis statements in paragraphs and longer texts, and how to write a thesis statement. Why should we care about main ideas and thesis statements? They're the most important part of a text. If you miss them, you've pretty much missed the whole point of the text. If you want to understand a text, you must be able to find the main idea. Similarly, when you write, a main idea or a thesis statement will be the backbone that holds your writing together. Can you define the words thesis statement? A thesis statement or main idea statement is a summary of a text. Usually, it is one sentence long. It is the key idea, the thought that pulls the other ideas in the text together. It might be helpful to think of the main idea or thesis as an umbrella because everything else in the text is a smaller idea that demonstrates that general umbrella idea. First, let's talk about how to find the main idea or thesis in a text. Let's start with a paragraph. How can we find the main idea? First, read the text. Next, highlight or underline what seems to be important. Then decide what the highlighted or underlined material has in common. That is the topic. Last, ask yourself what the author is saying about the topic. That is the main idea or thesis. Here's an example paragraph. As I read, think about what seems to be important in the paragraph and see if you can find any commonalities. Queen Isabella of Spain, who died in 1504, boasted that she'd had only two baths in her life, at birth and before her marriage. In colonial America, Leaders frowned on bathing because it involved nudity, which they feared could lead to loose morals. Indeed, laws in Pennsylvania and Virginia either limited bathing or banned it outright. And for a time in Philadelphia, anyone who bathed more than once a month faced jail. Furthermore, some of the early Christian churches discouraged sudsing up because of its association with the immorality of the Roman baths. Clearly, the notion that cleanliness is next to godliness has not always been a popular one. After highlighting what seems to be important, it looks like all the highlighted material is about a lack of bathing. Lack of bathing seems to be the topic. What is the author saying about lack of bathing? Is there a sentence that ties it all together, covering the idea of lack of bathing at many points in the past? If so, you found the topic sentence. The main idea sentence is the last sentence. Clearly, the notion that cleanliness is next to godliness has not always been a popular one. It's a good topic sentence because it covers all the times in the past when people did not value bathing. Almost makes you want to time travel, doesn't it? You can use the same process to find main ideas in essays. First, find the main idea for each paragraph or section. Next, see what the paragraphs or, or sections have in common. That's the topic. Then, ask yourself what the author is saying about the topic. That's the thesis. You can use the same process with chapters in a book. Now let's talk about how to write a thesis statement. This is something you'll almost certainly need to do for college essays. What is the job of a thesis statement? You may notice that the same elements, the topic plus the author's comment, will make up the thesis statements as you, that you write as well as those you find in other people's texts. A thesis statement in an essay should state the essay's topic or subject, just one, 
It should limit the topic, making it more specific, including your comment about the topic. It should be interesting to your audience, and it should include a verb. It may include more than one. Note, a thesis statement is usually located in the last sentence of the introduction and is restated in different words in the first sentence of the conclusion. Here's a sample thesis statement. By using Americana music and jazz rhythms, the poets of the Harlem Renaissance changed American poetry and made it more accessible and relevant to many people, especially people of color. Who or what is the subject? The poets of the Harlem Renaissance. What is the author saying about the poets of the Harlem Renaissance? They changed American poetry and made it more accessible by using Americana music and jazz rhythms. What's the verb? Changed. Let's look at another example. This essay will discuss the Black Lives Matter movement. Is this a good thesis statement? We do have a topic, the Black Lives Matter movement. What is the writer's comment? Mm, nothing. This is not a good thesis statement because it hasn't been narrowed by the author's comment about the topic. Further, it's a good idea to avoid phrases like, this essay will discuss. They're rather redundant and sound somewhat immature. Let's take a look at another thesis statement. The Black Lives Matter movement began with the killing of Trevon Martin in Florida. This is closer. We do have a topic and a verb, but it is more of a fact than a comment. It might be hard to write a whole paper about this thesis statement. It sounds more like a sentence or paragraph than an essay. Let's try another one. Black Lives Matter was started as a political movement to bring attention to racial bias in the justice system and stems from civil rights movements of the 1950s and 60s. This would be a thesis claiming to make a certain comment about history and historical facts. It's an interpretation. It could be debated, which makes it interesting. Therefore, it is a good thesis statement. Let's check it. It states the essay's topic. It limits the topic, making it more specific. It's interesting to the audience. So it's a good thesis statement. Here's another possible thesis statement. Black Lives Matter has little to no relationship to the main civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s. In fact, it is more an offshoot of one of the more radical branches of those movements. Again, we've got a topic and we've got a comment about it, but this author has offered a different interpretation of the same historical events. Let's try a third thesis statement. Black Lives Matter was not started as a political movement, but rather it was a grassroots community response to a tragedy that morphed into a political movement to bring attention to racial bias in the justice system. All three thesis statements use the same topic, Black Lives Matter, but the author's comments are different. All three thesis statements work because they have a topic and comment on it in an interesting way. The most important thing to do when you write a thesis statement is to answer the prompt your instructor gives you by including a topic and commenting on it in an interesting way. This list of thesis statement starters is only a beginning, but it might help you as you begin writing thesis statements. The first format is X is true because of one, two, and three. For example, Nelson should clean the bathroom because it is his turn. He said he would do it and his girlfriend is coming over. You might have used this type of format for a five paragraph essay because it lends itself well to three body paragraphs. Another variation on this theme is to say that X is true because of Y. For example, cars should be outlawed because they cause so many problems. The body paragraphs would then explore all the problems that cars cause. In the same way, the first thesis statement could be simplified to say, Nelson should clean the bathroom. And then the body paragraphs would list the reasons why. A third type of thesis statement is X is more blank than Y because of blank. 
For example, Taylor Swift's early songs are more accessible than her later songs because they are simpler. This format would, you, would be used for a comparison contrast essay. The essay would explore the differences between her early and later music. A comparison contrast essay could also be structured like this. Although X and Y are similar in some ways, they are also different. For example, although Devani's and Domino's are both affordable, Devani's offers a better restaurant experience. This format shows similarities and differences. In this specific example, you would need to define what a restaurant experience would mean. You'll notice that all of these sample thesis statements are somewhat debatable, except of course, Nelson cleaning the bathroom because obviously he should. Today we learned about finding main ideas in paragraphs and longer text, and we also learned how to write a thesis statement. The key points in both are to find a topic and see what the author is saying about that topic. Soon enough, that author will be you. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and good luck with finding and writing thesis statements.